Okay, I'm assuming that this started. Um, my camera records in HD now, and I get the auto foc I got the auto focus to stop making weird noises and just like stop being such a piece of crap. But my camera records in HD now, and I have a really small memory card. It's only two gigabytes, so I feel like it keeps running out of room if I try and speak for more than a short amount of time. So I'm just gonna go really fast in these bands and this is inspired by Abbers 07. She makes these videos once in a while and I really like watching them and I like hearing about music and I have a music blog now and that will be linked in the bottom but I'm gonna try to try and talk I'm gonna try and talk fast so that my camera doesn't run out of memory. So first band is Parachute. They had an album come out recently it's called Overnight. It is really good. I've liked Parachute for a really long time. They never come to my city which is kind of disappointing but I just listen to music anyways and cry. But off of Overnight, my favorite songs are probably Drive You Home and Disappear. Disappear is so beautiful and clever. I, f I just really like when music is really clever in their use of like instruments and their use of words and I just love it. That You'll probably be hearing me say that about pretty much everyone on this list. They just clever. Their music is really chill if you like that kind of like chill pop music. I don't know, some of the songs are more upbeat, some of them aren't, you know. If you have heard Parachute before, it's a lot like Parachute in the past. So, okay, listen to Parachute because they're really good. The next is Rizzle Kicks. I'm not sure how popular they are in other places, but they're not popular here. They opened for Ed Sheeran, and that's how I found out about them because I'm a follower of Ed Sheeran. I didn't get to see them when they opened for Ed Sheeran because he just didn't come here on that tour. But they are a duo rap group and I don't listen to a lot of rap but their rap is just really clever and it's witty and it's fun and it, there's a bit of singing in there and they just like make it different and it's just really cool and their new album is called Roaring Twenties and it's inspired by the 20s and they, I think they described it as if you lived in the 20s what your what would your problems be and stuff and that's what they were trying to go for and the, it sounds a lot like that era's music and I think that's really cool how a bunch of bands are doing that right now like um Daft Punk did it with their random access memories. Bruno Mars is kind of like doing a bit of a throwback uh theme with all of his songs. I just think that's really cool. Um the next band is Emblem 3. You might have heard of them. They were on X Factor last year in the United States. I had heard about them before actually. I don't even remember how I found out about them but I was subscribed to them on YouTube through something else. I feel like it was a video about, like, it was called, like, Local Band Tries Out for X Factor or something, and I watched it, and I subscribed to their YouTube channel. Forgot about them. And then I watched X Factor last year, and I saw them on there, and they, and I was like, oh my god, this band, I know this band. Nice. I forgot about this. And, yeah, so they didn't win, but they did put out an album this summer, and it's called Nothing to Lose, I'm pretty sure. But it's just a lot of upbeat, fun, young people music. They're pretty young. They're around my age. I'm 18. I think they're a little older than me, maybe. But they're just some guys living in California, having a good time, and that's what the music is about. My favorite songs are probably Spaghetti, which is just my life. I listen to that song all the time. And I Love LA is just really fun. I've never been to the West Coast, but I catch myself singing The West Coast is the best coast all the time. I was listening to it today actually. So Emblem 3 is really, it's, it's cool music. The next is Autumn Hill. They're from Canada. I found them when I was searching through the new music from Canada page on iTunes. I don't know if ever, any other country has that, but in Canada we have a Canadian music page on our iTunes so we can find music from our own country. And I found this band and they're kind of country. I'm saying country in two different, uh, Two different meanings of the word. Anyways, um, they're kind of country. They have a song that's called Fire, and the video for it is up on YouTube. It's just really, it's pretty, pretty chill vibe, a little bit of chill, like, country type music, and I don't know, I just really like it, and I just heard that yesterday, but I think I'm going to check out the rest of their music, because I enjoyed it in Canada. Alright, the next band is The Tragic Thrills. I'm a little bit skeptic, I'm not skeptical, 
I'm a little bit not wanting to put them on this list because I have a, I have a beef with them a little bit, but I'm going to put them on the list anyways. Um, basically, I used to be a huge fan of All Star Weekend. If you know who All Star Weekend is, they were kind of on Disney Channel. They were a little bit popular, you know, whatevs. And they disbanded and formed this new band called The Tragic Thrills, and so they're under a new name. It's the same guys. They think they might have added a new member, but it's the same guys. And so they released their first song, it's called Tears, and it's beautiful. It's much more the type of music that I normally listen to. It's much more like indie rock, even though I always hate calling indie a genre. It sounds like Mumford and & Sons and Imagine Dragons, and they used to kind of just sound like pop you know, Disney-ish music. They didn't really sound that Disney, but you know what I mean. But they sound a lot more my taste now, and I'm really happy about that because I did not want to let this band go. I was really scared for their music because I loved them so much as All-Star Weekend. And they just did a lot for me, so. I'm excited that I like their new song, and I'm really hoping that I like their album, which comes out pretty soon, I think. I think I, think I heard end of October, but that could be wrong. The next band is Basic Vacation. The drummer for this band is in used to be in Hollywood Ending, which is a band that I found through All Star Weekend. And he's in this band now, and they had a new song come out. Oh my god, I can't remember the name of it. I believe that's what it's called. I found that on iTunes, and I was like, whoa, it's on like the iTunes homepage of new music or something. Bands to look for. Bands to look for. Bands to watch. Whatever. And I was like, wow, they're like getting a following on everything and they're just this little band with of this guy who's a drummer and their music, their song I believe was really good so I would listen to that it's chill I keep saying everything is chill I don't know it's it's a good song and they have another song and it's called if you want to I haven't listened to that one in a long time it came out a while ago but they have they like their lyric video is on Vivo so I'm pretty sure this band is getting pretty legit I don't know but yeah basic vacation just this little band um, next is Box of Light. I, uh, if you watch Helen Mellon Lady on YouTube, I don't know if that's her username, but that's what her, like, thing is called as her full name. But she's in a band called Box of Light. I don't know if they have any, like, legitimately released music, but I've been watching her vlogs, and when they've been playing at festivals, I just love it. And she has a really nice voice, and her band is really, it's cool. I don't know how to describe it. You should just watch her vlogs. And they have a YouTube channel, it's Box of Light. So I'm excited for them to release music because I'm a big fan already, <laughs> and I just like, I don't know, I don't know, I just love it. So Box of Light is really cool, they're from the UK, and yeah, the lead singer, Helen, does beauty fashion YouTube videos, which I like to watch, and does vlogs, and I watch those, and that's how I find out about her band, and subscribe to their band channel. And, yeah, I think that's the end of my list. I might add some more in the down bar, but I don't know if my camera is off or, like, what's going on here. So, yeah, I hope this was informational. <laughs>